asking me that, you know, it's a classic Oprah question, sort of stops you in your tracks, you have to think through it. You asked me what I need to do differently. How do I find that thread of inspiration in my life and take it where it needs to go next? Mm -hmm. So what's the answer for you? Mm. What's, your, what's your big plan? Well, the answer uh, may surprise, uh, I don't know if it'll surprise you or not. Um, for, for, for me, at this particular time in my life, I recognize that everything is about moving closer to that which is God. And without a full spiritual center, and I'm not talking about religion, mm -hmm. I'm talking about without understanding the, 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 the fullness of from, from which you've come, you can't really fulfill your supreme moment of destiny. And I think everybody has a supreme moment of destiny. So what you've done and what you've been doing, and actually people have several supreme moments, some people do. So I think being connected to that which is greater than yourself, for me, at this particular time in my life, is the most important thing. And that's what I'm, I'm working on. Um, um, one of the things I did in Next Chapter, I went to visit a town uh, called TM Town. And it's in Fairfield, Iowa. Mm -hmm. Would you imagine that in Fairfield, Iowa, uh, it's a town population about 9,500, a third of the town meditates. Hmm. So there's a traffic jam in Fairfield, Iowa at 530 <laughs> with mothers and doctors and dentists and lawyers and engineers and clerks and soccer moms all headed to the dome in Fairfield, Iowa, people who look just like you and me, and they're all there meditating. And in order to prepare for to doing that show, um, I brought the t t Transcendental Meditations into Harpo Studios to teach me and my team how to meditate. So we started meditating. Seven of us, seven led to 70, led to 270, led to now everybody in the company meditates. Nine o'clock in the morning, 4.30 in the afternoon, no matter what's going on, we stop, we meditate. And that way of being still with ourselves, coming back to the center, and recognizing that something is more important than you, it's more important than the work you're doing, it's more important, brings a kind of energy and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and an intensity of energy and intention that we've never had before. And you, you can't imagine what's happened in the company. People who used to have migraines don't, people are sleep, sleeping better, people have better relationships, people interact with other people better. It's been fantastic. So what, the one thing I want to continue to do is to center myself every day and make that a, 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 a practice for myself because I am 1,000% better when I do that. 1,000% oh. better when I take myself back to something bigger than myself. You know what I love the most about being with you? What? Besides the fact that I learn every single time. There's a defiance in you that I just love. A defiance? Yes. In me? In you. That you're going to be who you are and you're going to stick to your guns on that. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's a well... You know, weathered sword that you take in the battle. Yeah. And I applaud you for it. Everybody in the audience is going to go home with a copy of O Magazine, the January 